This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back! It has been a long time to FFPU. My name is Paul. My name is Nelson. And this is the seventh episode on the 19th of August 2016. We've been away for at least two months. Yeah, it's been a long vacation. Yeah, yeah, you had a vacation, I had a vacation, and we didn't coordinate or pre record anything. We were horrible hosts to you. I'm so sorry, guys. Well, we gotta understand. It's a lot of hard work. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work yeah, to episodes. make this podcast, especially for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just sit here, drink my beer, watch a movie, and then riff on it for like 20 minutes. But whatever the reason, we've, we've, we've come back with, with a I guess a great one in a sense because it's okay the movie itself doesn't have an English title as far as it's I know non-existent yeah because the title in German is Das merkwürdige Verhalten geschlechtsreifter Großstädter and that, that would be uh, the Wait. curious behavior of uh, sexually Mature were, uh, people from the big city. From the big cities. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Long title. Yeah. Like long the, ass title. Yeah. Like yes. Town that from down. the from the very very fine year of ninety eight, star uh, made in Germany and made uh, with a then relatively unknown Christoph Waltz <coughs> in the main Sorry. role, in two roles actually as the. Uh, as the main character and as the uh, uh, what we call it are, are you in another movie or no no in this what? movie he, he, he talks over everything oh you mean you mean he's the narrator yeah the and narrator yeah he's yeah, the narrator yeah, exactly. and he plays yeah. the character yeah so Christoph Waltz the main character got the only person that got two roles in the whole movie apparently and yeah uh, uh, it's Christoph Waltz you yeah. You can't fault you Christopher. Yes, you can't fault the vaults. It's 18 years ago, nearly to the day. So when this comes out, probably tomorrow or something, or on, on, on Sunday, as as schedule permitting, basically. Um, it would be like the 18th anniversary. Of yes, nearly, nearly, yeah. nearly. Yeah. It was the 27th of August 1998. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, so. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is unprecedented because before that we had pretty coherent stuff. Like the serious stuff was coherent and the silly stuff was coherent most of the time. The cypher show was definitely coherent. Mm -hmm. And this is a clusterfuck. A clusterfuck of characters, a clusterfuck of, of, of storylines. Uh, yeah, yeah. the, the script isn't, isn't really complete. It doesn't feel like... Yeah, it feels like they, they either stuff too many characters in there because some agent was like, yeah, but I have this other guy who really wants to have a role. Or exactly. like the, the it Italian feels, it guy. It feels like that. The, the Italian. It was like that. Totally shoe, uh, shoehorned in, the Italian guy. Who's not even bloody Italian. Yeah, you can, you can tell. You can tell that he's not Italian. <sighs> Okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll get yeah, to, but the, we'll get the, to the, the, the satisfying part starts at the beginning because it shows us after the title screen or before the title screen, the first billing and it is Christoph Waltz. It's definitely his movie. Um, okay, let's 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 move forward. Yeah, yeah. Let's go go into I guess plot. Yeah, it's it's so, so difficult. Wait, we we're yeah. gonna have to do our thing again because oh, yeah, 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 because we we we. Again, we are a bit out of practice, I guess. And okay, so three, two, one. Plot. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's Very go good. into let's go into plot. And um, so the plot involves uh, seven characters, I think, or nine characters. And it's a it's a it's it's an Avengers style of comedy, where you give every character what. 10 minutes to breathe maybe in total 
or like share like dialogues with yes, them, but it's, exactly. But it's not really well balanced. No, nope. this movie. No, nope. definitely not. This this movie, yeah. It, again, Christoph Waltz is the main character, and he only shows up three times. Yeah, yeah it's, at it's the su- beginning, in the middle, he, and at the end. Surprisingly, he has less screen time than every everyone else. Yeah, because he's the only yeah. Austrian dude yeah. in the movie. It's, <laughs> it's a it's German like, movie. Yeah, it's like if you watch the movie, you see like Christoph Waltz. Ah, okay, Christoph Waltz. Christoph Waltz. Oh, yeah. there's, there's another character. Yeah. Oh, there's another character. Oh, there's another character. Well, yeah. okay, it's a, it's a and many the characters. And there's another. Oh, okay. The, yeah, and the chill, overarching chill, chill. theme. The overarching theme is that everybody's looking for love and they have trouble finding it or are not even looking because they gave up. And a certain amount of random events basically lead them to this yes yes lucky hookup they don't even show but one hookup like the only guys who actually have sex in this movie are the teenagers yeah the teenagers are the only one who are banging in this whole movie where you have yeah, yeah they're, again, they're, they're the least pro- problems uh, from all the characters. Yes, the only problem is just, just you know them being teenagers. And yeah, and insecure. fuck social and fuck social conventions. But on the other hand, oh my pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, out. yeah. It's, but they had some cute moments. But yeah, again, the, uh, this this the, this movie on the box set alone is over promising. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's 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 all about think making you think that you're gonna see some raunchy stuff at some point, but the only goddamn thing you see is a goddamn baby vagina. <laughs> Not cool movie because that came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> no. Like they had they had because they had a diaper changing scene for for you prude prude people. This is nothing for you, I guess. This movie. Uh, the premise is all about sex and love. The whole movie is about sex and love, even though it's like a carrot that they bounce in front of you that never, never gets to you at the end. Ha, carrot, see what I did there. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just. It, it just has um, too many characters, yeah, too, too much random stuff, and the whole thing is like. Uh, not, it's like, not not believable. Yeah, it, no. Well, you can make a film, a funny film, unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, but the Space film Quest or what was it? Funny, I think. Uh, well, yeah, that's not funny. So that sorry, sp- what's that? Uh, Space Quest or what was it? Space. You mean the, the previous movie we watched? No, 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 no. Or, the or thing. The, the Galaxy thing. Quest. Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. Yeah. Space Quest. Yeah, Galaxy Quest. Totally random. Totally unbelievable. But still very funny. This yeah, one is not funny. <sighs> not really funny. Nope. Not not really funny. And okay, let's go back to the plot. So we have <clears throat> So uh, we have what I what I want to say yeah. is just, just, just for clarification. Just for, sake, just for clarification. This movie is like what it's like a movie where you see the perspective of every character. Like uh, what what kind of movie can I compare it to? Uh, it would be pulp fiction, I guess. Yeah. Pulp, yeah. 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 In, uh, but instead of timelines that don't um, coincide with each other they are coherent in one string attached but it still has like here is the story of this guy and meeting her yeah. and here's the story of like, her it's not like me- episodic. meeting him it's yeah not, it's not episodic it's, right. yeah and they, but there are scenes where and, they, and they so forcefully try to knot them all together at the end like yeah it was the, so <laughs> for it was so cringeworthy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm sure Christoph Waltz was like, "Yep, I want to get killed. That's the one thing that I want to happen in the movie to my character because fuck this movie. I don't want to be in the last scene." And then they <laughs> shove him. Then they shove him into the post credit. Yes, this movie has a in between credit scene, like a Marvel movie or something. Yeah, and they shove it in between with a shot of him from early in the movie where they show him and I'm like what the fuck yeah it, it's very angry <laughs> right, <so laughs> yeah, on some level but yeah so the plot um, yes please the plot involves like I said like seven to eight people yeah and uh, 
So should we like count them down? Like sure, let's okay. go through so them. So there is Bigot, which is like the ugly duckling. It turns beautiful in the end. Yeah, and she's and she like the intellectual. She's, intellectual. She's tarot cards. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, prince. No, what what was the princess movie? Suddenly princess, suddenly famous, suddenly suddenly royalty. Know you, I know what you mean. With 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 Reese, Reese Witherspoon. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But I don't know the, the American title. Yeah, so I don't know the original title. Yes, so it's basically that but yeah. with, without the being royalty stuff That's right. attached to it. And then there's Tamini, I think. Yeah, Tamini is. I think was sure. her name. That's Again, her, it's her some birthday. Some really random names there. Yeah, and it's her birthday but her, everybody forgets her about about her birthday cuz they're like yeah, trying to bang something. Try to bang something. It happens to be those characters that I'm going to count down. Yeah. And you know? Oh, uh, such randomness. Who would have thought? Like, at the beginning, I was like, yep, I'm bleeding, right? Uh, yeah, you're bleeding. Sure. Um, I'm not bleeding a bit. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. So we're that, continuing. Yeah. We're, okay. we're powering through. Then there's the sleazy guy. Oh, yeah. Super sleazy. Su super sleazy. Again. Nic Nicholas Cage sleazy. Yeah, yeah. You could say young, young Cage. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 young, yeah, young, young Cage, Young Cage. Then Stacey. of course is Crystal Waltz. Yes, as the oh yeah, all right. They have this this weird uh, meta thing going on because he's the writer of the book that the movie is based on, but there is no book. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, the book doesn't come to show. At the, only at the end. Only at, yeah, yeah only he finished the book already and says that he only has twelve. But the the what do you, what do you call that? We give the book to the company and the company the, like the publisher. It. The publisher. Yeah. The publisher like. <laughs> Jesus, you're the American this, dude. This ex is not ex doesn't accept the, the book. Yeah, because he's 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 a basically a small Hatzestrache, like just filled with anger and just horrible person yeah, not not happy yeah. yeah yeah he was the typical little it, it's like if richie rich would be realistic just an yeah. asshole douche <laughs> at the front of the yeah. table and then there's yeah. then there's the gay guy right right and the least attractive the, the least attractive one i'm really happy about that actually yeah yeah continue and there's the young chick that we mentioned earlier the young chick with the Backstreet Boy. Uh, Sandra. Guy. Sandra is her name. Maybe. And the yeah, guy, uh, Paul. And Paul. Paul yep. is his name. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for <laughs> forgetting that name. Thanks a lot, Nelly. Well, they, they didn't have many, much screen time. To oh, yeah, that's with, true. So that's true. So, yeah. Still, most interesting storyline of all of them. And then there's a lesbian couple. Well, kind of lesbian couple. Ah, it's a Thelma and Louise film. Thelma Lu Louise couple. They even they, ref they reference Thelma and Louise in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Because drive, they drive a Ferrari, and I, I, don't, I never it's watched It's not a Ferrari in Pam and Louise. I never watched Pam and Louise, but I do know that they drive off Isn't the Isn't it Susan Sarandon? Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis. Yeah, right. All, yeah. That's all I know. Yes. Not watching the movie. But anyway. uh, so, yeah, that, that's it's those so characters. Yeah, exactly. And they're looking for love. Mm -hmm. A shot of love. Yeah, it's love, at least according to the book that Christoph Waltz's character is writing at the moment. And yeah, they go through, f again, it would be, the problem with the plot is we already described it because everything going into detail would mean that we would go into detail with every one of them and then we're just yeah. here an hour. Yeah, and then we just go, go off track. And yeah, you know. uh, this, so is, this, is a, this is a horrible movie to, dis to describe. Actually, the fourth line I've wrote down was too many characters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> but I I can I I can try to you know you know kind of describe yeah, what's, yeah, what's okay, happening. Yeah, so, okay. Let's so do a, let's do a quick round. Let's do a quick round. The ugly duckling. She is, as we mentioned, intellectual, insecure. She's hot, but she doesn't know it yet. Yeah. And this gay guy happens to meet her. I think. Yeah, because she gets a free ticket to. Uh, to the, right, to, the, to the fitness studio. Yeah, to, to the, the fitness gym. studio where he's working because she actually she got had it from to. The sleazy guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because the sleazy guy gave it to her because. See, he, see what I mean? He, see what I mean? Because for some reason he wanted to look baby, at, after the, the baby because baby. a friend of him. Wait, is the friend showing up somewhere else? No, uh, no, no, I don't know. So, so but yeah, the friend was talking to him and saying to him that he can get laid if he has a ring on his finger and a baby in and the front. 
That's right. That's yep. why he wants to take care of the baby. And yep. she complies by yep. accepting because, the ticket to the gym. Because she's actually and looking for love too. And that's, yeah. 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 And the baby belongs to the ex-wife of the character, of the Crystal Waltz character. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So so far, oh, I've been explaining totally, that I blocked, well. I blocked it out. I blocked it out completely. So yeah, and that, yeah. Okay. So yeah, and, and the sleazy guy, he takes out the baby to for a stroll through the, the mall. Yeah. Where suddenly the ex also very nineties. Yeah. I think malls even in Austria are dying. Like. What's that? Sorry. Malls are dying in general in the U.S. at least, and yeah, in Austria, yeah, I it, think it wouldn't. It's not that. It start. It's it, it's building up right now. Yeah, like they've exactly. Built, they've built like a couple of malls in the last. Yeah, exactly. Past That's years. the last breaths of, of mall building, hopefully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you think? Yes, we have to enjo so enjoy our beers, though. Sorry. So yeah, this easy guy takes the baby for a stroll in the mall. Right. And this, the mom of the the mother of the. the of the child happens to be there in the mall right. and she thinks that the guy has kidnapped her girl yeah because for some reason she sees a kidnapping picture a, a, a kid, picture of a kid kid kidnapper <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> nice a, one yeah kid kidnapper uh, in the papers in front of her and the mug shot, not not even a mug shot, just the drawing of the guy. Yeah, the kind of yeah. is similar to him, and he leaves, and she thinks. He, yeah, they they, they yeah. Uh, but they they meet each other first, and she like pretends that it's not her ba baby, and they yeah, like, yeah. talk and talk. Uh, they, they actually get along. Yeah, the, until she sees that mug shot on a newspaper. The the Robert scene was actually a pretty good build up to revealing that the baby was a female. Yeah, that, that was that was a funny moment. That was actually a pretty funny moment where he said "robot" because he looked at a robot. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> uh, yeah, because she was a asking him, uh, what, what's, what's 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 his name, and then he, he like he like they're in a toy shop and he yeah. like looks over and there's like a robot kind of toy. Right. It says "robot" on it. And he's like, "Rob ro robot." <laughs> yeah, isn't that the, the the thing from Usual Suspects? Where Kevin Spacey looks at the wall and yeah, that that kind of thing. Yeah, kind yeah, of thing. So same same kind of joke, I guess. Except yeah, it wasn't that joke in the suspect. <laughs> Suspects. So yeah, okay. So we so, yeah, move on. Uh, I, so uh, yeah, that's the Susie guy. Now the Christoph Waltz character, he is. I didn't remember his name. He is a writer. Charlie, please. Char Charlie, Charlie Müller. Charlie the, Müller. The the most boring last name combined with a name that only I don't know I don't even know well, one Charlie I know one Charlie I know one Charlie in my in my whole friend circle of Austrians and Germans there's well, one Charlie it was it was a thing back in the day to name your child an English name an English name uh, like yeah, mine right. yeah like, like me yeah well yeah. okay you're American dude well, well I was born here so yeah, yeah. fuck you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, he's a he's a writer, an unsuccessful writer, and yeah, he's also looking for a shot. Well, uh, and well, uh, he gave up. Uh, yeah, he he gave up. He had the chance and, for threesome, but, man. But, there, but there, like, there's like scenes where he has like hope to find the find. Yeah. The loved right. Ones right. 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 Stuff. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> Then there's the gay guy who works it's at the gym. It's actually pretty funny to let the Austrian play the guy with all the despair in his heart. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's funny. That's like that is a cliche Austrian role, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, I we're would we're heavy in our hearts and suicide all over the place. Depression. <laughs> uh, yeah, we covered that up. Once. Yep. All right, go on. So yeah, there's a gay guy that works at the gym who meets Birgit. Yeah, we talked about him. We talked, we talked about him. Yeah. And what was I going to say? Oh yeah, and the gay guy, I think Jim is his name. He... Ha, uh, Jim at the gym. Jim, Jim uh, at the gym. Jesus uh, Christ. Another pun. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, wow. What's happening here? Yeah. Um, oh, Lord. He, want, he wants to get together with Birgit 
to hook up with another guy? Yeah, who said that there was gonna be a gr big mambo night. B yeah, yeah. But he needs a partner. But he so needs a partner, so he happens to choose Birgit. Yeah. Instead of just asking the guy out. <laughs> yeah, well, well again, well, 98. But, but 98. it's 98, and gay, gay, thing, gay stuff isn't really as common, or how, how, would, it, how would you Not say that? It's as common as it ever was and it ever will be. But it, it was a taboo. Yeah, it was a taboo. taboo and again, hitting on a, apparently on a mixed gender, not exclusively gay gym, on a guy, it's kind of difficult, I guess. Well, he could have he could have just asked him out like outside the true, gym. true, so, true, so, yeah. true, true. So that's one of the things that didn't make any sense. In the yeah, movie. could have been a bisexual, still. So yeah, that's the gay guy, and there's the young chick with the Backstreet Boy guy. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Sorry, that was not a Backstreet Boy guy. That was definitely oh we are not Backstreet Boy guy. Uh, Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Definitely, or 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 the one guy from In Sync who had basically the same hair. Oh wait, that was Justin Timberlake, right? Yeah, Justin yeah. Timberlake was. Oh, oh Jesus yeah. Christ! Ah, oh, the same guy. Yes. So there's the young you, chick with the and with Justin Timberlake lookalike. Yeah, Paul. Yes. Pa Paul's yes. name and she is Sandra. Yeah, and she and has a restrictive father and he has a restrictive mother. And they're both kind of like insecure teenagers. Yeah, and, uh, but they, they talk about having, wanting to do it, not having sex that never even drops once, I think. The word? Well, they, with they, them. Don't they have sex in the, yeah. th in the, at the toilet? Nope. In the mall where they nope. happen to see the sleazy guy? I the don't think the. Again, I was curious because she packed out the condom. He said that he was a virgin. Right, right. She it's, said it's that not, she was a virgin, yeah, and she yeah. want he wanted it to be like special and nice. And she said, right, they they decide to not do it yet. Yeah, yeah. but they wanted to leave, and then the two schoolmates come in uh, to peek on them or whatever. Be be weirdos, I guess. You know, fifteen, sixteen year olds just idiots all all over the place and there was no internet back then so seeing actual sex was like oh my god <laughs> oh my god yeah, yeah. today's mandatory yeah exactly so so and they're, they're the happiest characters in the movie oh definitely oh the most happy like ones. the strife that they have is next to zero like oh no oh no okay well, maybe. Well, yeah okay yeah yeah that that but I, actually, I, I like that. I like that one the most, just because they were good kid actors, and it was yeah, they were just good. sweet, and it's something that I never had. Yeah. Yeah. Never, never had that. That was that 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 dog was closed for me after oh, I turned yes. eighteen. Yeah, these the old days. Yeah. So yeah, and then there's a lesbian couple kind of lesbian couple yeah again it's just vibes yeah, and Louise it's couple. just vibes yeah just pissed off old old there ex. yeah they're not old jesus christ o old, man old you're, a you're ageist prick you're not you're gonna turn old one day soon yeah and I, I never said i'm gonna i'm not gonna turn old yeah so, yeah. yeah you're not you're not filled with youth full hubris and say I'm gonna live forever or something and then flip the table I, yeah I want to fuck you forever, dad yeah. fuck you dad I'm gonna live so, forever yeah. it's them yeah and kind and of Christoph Waltz and one one of them uh, falls in love in this Christoph Waltz character in Charlie yeah. and yes that's ha, pretty, that's, that's, pretty that's pretty much it that's kind of not kind of only the, the only non happy ending I guess yeah so yeah, and there's one more character, which is Tamini. She is a chick who, whose birthday it is. Yeah, right. And all the characters in the movie... In the movie and um, she thinks she's pregnant. She thinks she's pregnant, but she's not. Yeah. And everybody forgets about her birthday, and she's pissed off. She throws the cake outside, out the window. And next to her, she happens to see some Italian dude. <sighs> so Italian. So Italian. Like played play by a German guy. Yeah, and and just so cliche. And you know, we we baby. both we both have Italian heritage. You more than me, but still, yeah. we both have Italian heritage, and it's just 
it just angers a part of me. I don't know. I find kind of amusing. Yeah, it, yes, it's kind of amusing, like a clown doing an impression amusing, because yeah. it was near, not, yeah. Babidi Boopi again. So yeah, uh, yeah. This, this Italian dude, he's about to commit suicide by just drop. By jumping, just off jumping off jumping off because a girl Eva was cheating on him with a taxi driver who turns out to be the ex-boyfriend well or ca- still boyfriend of Tamini yes exactly and yeah. and yeah and they kind of talk and Tami and actually that, that that was one of the better scenes where Tamini thinks there's somebody at the door and she answers the door and it's a stripper a female stripper and she realizes that her boyfriend sent her an, a stripper but the only two dudes were already working so she took over the shift i don't know if that works is that a thing that could work that you accidentally get the wrong gender as a stripper like oh, I wouldn't, I that wouldn't, would be I hilarious would. at a at a stag party like yeah. 20 dudes most of them straight probably statistically speaking straight and then there's going to be like a really gay stripper like hello boys or something i don't know like, yeah get the fuck out of here, yeah that would be no no that would be hilarious and nowadays they were like all right we have to be nice <laughs> be nice to the gay guy <laughs> let's give him let's give him all 20 one private lap but nothing more i don't want to tell the wife <laughs> otherwise yeah. she's gonna demand that all the time <laughs> So yeah. yeah, she, sh- so she and him, they talk through for the whole movie about pretty much everything, and yeah, and in the end, they, she, she drops off, and she, but she doesn't. She, doesn't she accidentally she, drops off the ledge. Right, she act, ac- it was an accident. So yeah. she drops off the ledge, and she, he tries to save her, and he, they both hang off the balcony. Off the balcony. Yeah, having a good time. Yeah, still talking. Yes. Fun. So, so yeah, those are all the characters. Yes, thank you for, for that. You yes, thank you, Nelly, for this quick summary. Actually, watching this, uh, listening to this podcast, way better idea than watching the movie. Yeah, I think because again, um, let's let's. I think we're gonna go to the because we can skip a, th- a lot of things because they are so benign. Like cin- cinematography, we can skip because. There's nothing interesting in here, I think. At yeah, least. There, there's nothing experimental. In that nothing, episode. nothing. Even the Schüler Gerber that we, that's actually our most watched episode and uh, is now over 150 views yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, that, even that one uh, had one interesting shot in it where I was like, ooh, interesting. Like where they had the moving shots with the camera. And even that was kind of experimental or interesting. This is just cookie cutter yeah, boring yeah. filmog uh f- cinematography cinematography yes yeah pretty much, pretty much straightforward nothing worth mentioning yeah exactly um then yeah, but we have definitely have to s- uh, talk about the soundtrack so soundtrack <laughs> okay so <laughs> that, that was bad that yeah was, that, that was pretty that, that was, was pretty bad but so yeah, the soundtrack. Super nineties. Super nineties. Scatman. Scatman John, uh, Mambo Number no. Five, the original, not the cover, not, but not the not cover. the famous Lou Vega one, but uh, yeah, Scatman, Lou Vega, then then yeah, some, we'll uh, then, uh, then uh, Ricky Martin. Yeah, Ricky, Ricky Martin. At the end. And a few other. Yeah, but but it's all about love, all about mambo, and it all ties into the movie. Pretty well done, I guess. Yeah, but if, that's if, it's, co- if it's the movie. Yeah, it's and they're confidently picked, and they 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 annotate the, the the scenes pretty well, I think. Yeah, just just a good pick, good good soundtrack, and you can buy the exclusive <laughs> at least at the end of the movie it said that on you can CD buy the yeah the sing, yeah especially with extended songs more songs from the f- artists and an exclusive uh, uh single for the title song that scatman john apparently made for the movie really? mambo love apparently it said mambo love 
Single ist ein ist der Oxy Original Ja, yeah, Music Motion, Motion Picture Music Ja, yeah. Yeah, yeah, apparently Scatman John made uh, Yeah, but his songs all sound the same It's just Ja, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. so It's definitely the Phil Collins effect here in effect uh, Why? You know yeah, the Phil it, Collins it, effect? No, you, what was Phil Collins? It, it's just that he, every song. Na, 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 na. Uh, that that's like every song sounds the same. Yeah, that's the Phil Collins effect. They're good. They're like two thousand good Phil Collins songs, but I love Phil Collins. <sighs> yeah, again, I love him too. For those two thousand of songs, the rest yeah. is garbage. Yeah. yeah, unlistenable garbage because it's the same but inferior to all the other works that he does. So, so yeah, that's the soundtrack, and mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I think we can, is there anything noteworthy? There's nah. There, well, there were some custom. Yeah, Mambo. There, there were some custom uh, s uh, songs in the movie. Not like song songs, but like a soundtrack was, it, was in the movie. There weren't, or, there were some original pieces, like, yes. Like, this, like the scene, scenes yeah. where, like, Like the scene where they hang off the the balcony, the ledge, yep, yeah, the and, balcony. and they both like, and this Italian guy sa says in, his, in the most Italian way, "I love you, I wanna love you." <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm it, it wouldn't <laughs> again. It would only be more racist if, example, if if Mario from Super Mario Brothers was hanging off the ledge. That's the only way this could be more offensive to the Italians. <laughs> Like it's a me, or if he's spinning a pizza at the same time, like it's a me, like you love me. <laughs> yeah, that would be more. That 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 would be that would be more offensive. But this is, yeah, this is a close second, I guess. Um, yeah, um, let's wrap up. Uh, soundtrack, good soundtrack. Could listen to it again. Yeah. Maybe there's a YouTube playlist. That would be hilarious. Maybe I'll, I'll put it together. And shove it up our listeners ours I guess I don't know um, yeah so let's move on to our favorite scene favorite scene yes favorite scene um, there were some cute moments yes Yes, moments definitely. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I had definitely some hate moments too, more than I had good moments. I think I'm not sure. It's it's yeah, really a mixed bag. Like I was pumped to see Christoph Waltz doing his Christoph Waltz thing, mm -hmm. but like you see his oh oh he looks good in that movie by the way. Oh, he's yeah, handsome. he's really handsome he no has homo, but like handsome. like like the the hans lander chin that everybody swooned about this is prime rib christoph waltz chin like at, at the height of is it it's it's sharpness i guess you could cut i don't know steel beams something something hard ha huh? yeah. <laughs> on christoph waltz chin definitely That 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 chin like yeah, dominates wish, every yeah. scene that he's in. Yeah, I, I wish I would have. I, I wish there would have been more scenes with him instead of all the other. Yeah, it ju characters. just just him. Just him. Just him playing all the characters. No matter that what, would be hilarious. Yeah, yeah, no matter what he does, just you know. Yeah, he touches everything. He, he, he touches it turns yeah. into gold, but not this movie. <laughs> I guess. Well, he he was he was in a few mediocre movies now too in the U.S. Yeah, like uh, Water for Elephants. Whatever. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, the new Tarzan movie. I never watch it, but I've heard it's garbage. Uh, I'm gonna watch it well, just for this garbage. Of yeah, because apparently it has an eating scene in there. A what scene? Sorry. Eating. Eating scene. scene. Yeah, and eating is since his lander with the strudel. Yeah, yeah, with the strudel. Even si ever since then, he he f his eating in movies fascinates me because it's so menacing. Now that you mention it, yeah, there, yeah, there are few, that's, that's like a few. There, few, for him, there yeah. are few actors who could eat something menacing, but Christopher Waltz is definitely in the top five of eating menacingly in the in 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 Hollywood right so now. Yeah, Christopher Waltz, good e good eating. Yeah, he's actor. never gonna do a Burger King commercial because they're just like, oh my god, I'm afraid he's gonna kill me now after you finish that whopper. 
<laughs> like I'm the Burger King now, and then he yeah. stabs the director or something. Yeah, or, or, he, or he extinguishes the the cigarette, like shoves the cigarette into the whopper and leaves. <laughs> yeah, fuck your guys and flips the table. Yep, that that seems very very Christoph Waltzin esque. I don't know. Um, Waltzin-esque. Waltzin-esque? Waltzin-esque. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, favorite scene. <coughs> that that's actually hard for me to pick out because there are so many stupid scenes. You have a favorite? I, I don't know either. No? It's yeah, it's a, it's actually a pretty damning example for the movie that I'm not like, I get, oh I my god, this scene stood out so much that I can't remember. I guess, rem- I guess maybe, maybe a scene that was funny was maybe, maybe the, the sleazy guy pretending that it's his son. That's a pretty good scene, yes. Yeah, that, that's a pretty good scene. Yeah, just and then, just because the band is changes funny. The, changes the diaper in front of her. And yeah, again, sudden vagina. Like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, not a fan of that. And it's like, boo, baby vagina. Oh, yeah, shit. no, because, the, the, look, I, I don't have anything against baby vagina. <laughs> I like baby vagina as the next guy. That sounds weird. Uh, but, uh, but what I want to say is, it's just that that the movie's tone never ever that's like a if you had a, a scene from 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 a from a uh ben stiller no adam sandler from an adam sandler movie squeezed mm. right in the middle of there yeah? yeah like you had you had a funny banter movie like you had a a, a movie from made by who's ever good at banter wes anderson maybe he's good at banter i think or or um the Jewish guy from New York. Mm. Oh, that sounds racist too. Uh, uh, Woody Allen. Oh, oof. Saved it right yeah. there. Uh, yeah, Woody Allen. Great at banter. Yeah? Like you had a Woody Allen esque st- scene and then just Adam Sandler burst in there with his dick out. Yeah. Not cool, dude. Shit covered dick, by the way. That vagina was covered in shit. Yeah. Because was, it was a diaper full of full I mean, diaper. That uh, was also pretty cool. Yeah, I, I I have siblings. I know yes. I know how that works. So yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I got flashbacks like <laughs> from my Vietnam <laughs> was helping my siblings change their diapers. Like no, <laughs> because I'm the oldest. Yeah, so <laughs> um, yeah, but otherwise good scene. Um, what else? Oh, by the way, ne- except for alcohol. Zero drug abuse. Yeah. Not even, not even, well, smoking. But not even the gay guy was doing drugs. Very fascinating. Is that like the 90, 90s clean look thing? I don't know. No, I don't Cocaine know. was pretty big still in the 90s, right? It swathed yeah, co- over the 80s. Well, wasn't it, wasn't, wasn't like heroin like a thing in, in the 90s? <sighs> Because I, I remember the scene. Kurt from Cobain. Pulp, I, re- I remember the scene from Pulp Fiction where this 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 guy says like says like Hey hey man, coke is heroin. It's, coke is dead, dead man. Dead. Yeah, uh, her- heroin, heroin is the is the new thing. Or yeah, whatever. no, it's coming back and it's, it's coming, coming back, back big or something. So yeah, something like that. Maybe we're co- misquoting totally. But whatever the case, yeah, it's not the we, exact we, one, we, but we, it's, it's 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 unprecedented. We can't think off the cuff of a favorite scene. So we have to, for the first time, strike favorite scene from the record. I'm not going to delete it, but I'm just saying this movie doesn't have a f- real favorite scene for us. Yeah, um, I would have to say no. There, were not, there are no favorite this scenes is, in this, there. This, and I think this not brings, a bad movie. But yeah, and I think this brings us into our final conclusion, right? Yeah. Final conclusion. Okay, so, so, ah, how long, how long have we, have we been recording now? Um, maybe 30, 40 minutes, something 40 like minutes, something like that. Yeah, yeah. pretty short. Yeah, 38 minutes. No, we're right in the middle with, with so, the other episodes. So, so yeah, that, that's how much we can say about this movie. Yeah, because it's a, to because it's a hot episode. mess. It's a hot mess of a movie. It tries to be four different or five. They even reference Thelma and Louise. It tries to be an Adam Sandler movie. It tries to be a Thelma and Louise movie. It tries to be a, a dramatic movie with Christoph Waltz's uh, existential crisis moments. 
it tries to be a, a funny movie which it rarely succeeds like there are maybe what 10 10 moments eight yeah, moments you go like, ah. yeah exactly and no like bursting laughing out and, and rolling on the yeah, floor it may, maybe like a ger german movies it may be like a german movie where that was really during the height of german revival of the comedy scene yeah but it's it, it's really like, sad it's, that but it's like funny for it's like funny for Germans, but like for non-Germans, it's not, kind of not funny. Oh, uh, definitely. Well, it may just it may just be me. So I, I no, I, I would I I, I never I, found a I, found a movie pretty funny that was made in Germany. To be I, honest, there, there's some there's some good German movies that are funny, but this one yeah. is definitely not in the list of great funny German movies. This is. A prime example that they would show, I don't know, an alien race to convince the rest of the aliens to kill off the Germans by like, hey, look, they are, they are, they are not even, they are not even funny, <laughs> or something. They try to, they try to be, to be, try to be look, look like humans and everything else, but they are not. Yeah, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. This, this, this could have been great. This could, no, there, there's the stuff for good good movie the script in itself pretty solid holding all those timelines together and the scene by scene stuff not bad but still mm. so could have could have we reworked the, the script a little bit yeah and the, it's also telling that amazon has a bunch of five star reviews of people who love the movie and really? like yeah and then pre well in the german version of amazon it's but C yeah and and then they have what three and then they have three comments that are si one stars, so bomb rating at least. Uh, what, what did it say? And they were all like, I don't know who would like this movie. This movie is dog shit. Why why are oh, you watching uh, this? Horrible. I wouldn't think so. Yeah, again, it, it's something you could watch when it comes on TV, I guess, and you're like bored and you already masturbated. Yeah, and you have like an hour and thirty minutes to beat off. Uh, I mean, uh, to to and jerk they were, off. They were um, hot. They yeah. were, the chicks were hot there. Yeah, some of the guys were hot too. Like Christoph Waltz again. Damn, Google damn Google. fine man. Then the 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 guy who the gay guy tried to hit on but vanished. That was a beefcake. He looked pretty swole. Uh, nice blue jeans from oh, the 90s. Oh, those ni okay, this this movie had all the 90s and isms in yeah, it. Yeah. Spiked hair with frosted tips, uh, uh, huge cell phones. Bomber jackets. Lump bomber jackets, uh, blue mom jeans that go waist high. Smoking indoors. Smoking indoors. Still, it was just on the verge when it yeah. just on the was word. phased out. Yes. Um, Portable phone. Uh, Portable phones. Oh, what? What do you mean? Portable. Yeah. Um, oh. Just huge cell, cell phones. phones. Cell phones. Uh, cell what just what huge. Bulbo phones. Portable phones. Portable phones. I was. <laughs> I'm saying bulbo. Port I'm I was saying like portable phones. Yeah, because, that's, you know that was like the word back in the day. Yeah, I yeah, think. true, 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 true. But yes, all, uh, then uh, a Coca-Cola commercial, of course. Like not a commercial, but a you know a tie-in. Yeah, yeah there's there's like a can there. Somewhere. Yeah, and Obvious they showed and they showed West cigarettes twice. Yeah, where the logo is like straight in your face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like try one of these smokes, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Moment. Yeah, that's from that. Yeah, then a Ferrari, a red Ferrari. And the Ferrari has a phone in there. A Countach? Was that a Countach? Uh, I don't I know. know. I only, only know Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, great. That's uh, it's like one of those moments where it's like a BMW. Yeah, they are, they are all expensive. Free. There's no cheap nah, Ferrari. Yeah, I, what, I, what I mean is like, it's like uh, you, you know the exact type of the car. And yeah. Like, like, it has this and that. This, and the motor is like this and like a cool black car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just Countach is Lamborghini. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I always guess I'm, those two mix up. Yeah, but it's it's that one Ferrari from the nineties that, that that everybody was driving. everybody associates with. Wasn't Magnum driving a Ferrari? I think. Yeah. Wasn't it the same? You mean my? Wasn't it Miami Vice that drove a car car like that? That was a Lambo thing. It was a white, a white and it a white, was white. Right, it's a white one. Yeah, and Magnum had a fancy car too. Again, doesn't matter. This movie is average at best, I think. 
Right? I, I, would, that, that I would agree. Would, that would I be agree. a fair assumption of the movie. Um, yeah, it just has too many things that are distracting from the main thing. You have the annoying Italian, you have you have your Germanisms, you have <laughs> yeah, Ger Germanisms. Germanisms. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah, again, it, it's it's hilarious to watch as like, ooh, look at the 90s and look at all the things they wore and said and did and yeah. Late 90s if you want to be exact. Oh, and but there was one thing that didn't change since then and that was the uh, sentence, eyes like Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> Augen wie Brad Pitt. Same fucking thing now. Well, not, not out of the mouth of a 16 year old, but still. 18 years later people are still swooning over Brad Pitt it's nothing changed man it's, it's all the same we're doing it's actually we're in hell and the podcast is our redemption of doing it all over and over and over again because we apparently in our life before that were horrible filmmakers and were sent into hell <laughs> sounds yeah. about right yeah nowadays we get like millions and millions of yeah if not billions exactly but let's wrap this up looking at you Michael Bay yeah <laughs> very much so um, uh, let's wrap this up uh, thank you so much Nelly for coming back and of course recording finally a new episode of FFP uh, we will be posting it on our social media and everything oh yeah please like our Facebook page we have a really fancy Facebook page where I'm trying to get some movie related pictures up regularly so like that and like our content of course if you like it subscribe uh, subscribe if if you want Ring. to yes itunes rating very important please do that and enough pandering i guess thank you and goodbye goodbye bye you want to have the last one last what the last bye i i'm, oh, I'm i okay. did a third bye for some reason come on bye